Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. This is going to be my catch-all Sentai news update video. There's been a few tidbits of Sentai news here and there that I've missed out on as there's been a flurry of Power Rangers news, or a fury. Ah, uh, thank you. But I wanted to make this video just going over the things that I missed. It's primarily just to give my thoughts, since obviously all of it's old news. Some of the stuff is stuff that was revealed in a sense even started to show up in the show. But I wanted to give my thoughts and also give a reason to give an update on the future of my Sentai coverage. But let's go ahead and get started with the news first. I mean, first of all, arguably the biggest thing is we got our trademark filed for the next Sentai 47th, which is Osama Sentai King Oger? And I only said that really weird because I keep wanting to call it King Ranger, but that's already a thing. And apparently that will possibly be themes of, like, royalty. I saw some people saying knights, too, um, if that's true. I hope they lean a little more towards the royalty stuff. There could be knight stuff in it, but we just did Ryu Soldier. Although, to be fair, to be fair, it was also part dino theme, and that was repeating a dino theme fairly recently. So if we tread some of the same knight royalty ground, who knows? But that could be interesting. I think the thing I'm most interested to see in regards to that, I mean, the idea of royalty knight-ish, that realm sounds like possible cool costumes, but the thing I'm most interested in seeing in regards to that is like how traditional it is versus experimental, like Zom Brothers and Zenkaiser is. Like quote-unquote experimental, because they do have some different stuff, but it's also business as usual. But I'm curious to see, like, are we going to have CGI Rangers or, like, non-traditional Mecha Rangers? Um, is there going to be somehow connections to Don Brothers or Zenkaiser? I don't know. Or Zenkaiser. I always mess this up. Anyway, regardless, that was one of the big pieces of news. Speaking of Don Brothers, this is kind of old news. Um, the last Sentai news I covered was the Gold Ranger form, or the new Red Ranger Gold Power, excuse me, when we just got an early look from the toy. But now it's since made its live-action debut, and I just wanted to say... I really dig the look of it. I like most of the Don Brothers designs, period, um, but I just really do dig the suit, and I want to draw attention to that. We also have a new sort of, I don't want to say supporting mech, but a new golden bird supporting mech for Don Brothers. And by supporting, I just mean it's not a full-on Megazord uh, like Don Oni Taijin. It's kind of a large-scale Zord, but it adds on to Don Oni Taijin for kind of a golden power-up. So golden! And it also works with the Changer, so that's kind of cool. It's kind of unique that it works with both. Um, even though it's not the same exact thing, it kind of brings to mind, in a way, like the way that uh, Lupats had was a Changer and a Megazord. I mean, I know it doesn't transform, but the fact that it kind of functions with both aspects of the toy line is kind of neat. And I overall dig the look of it. I will be picking it up. Um, I'm really hoping we do get maybe one more traditional mecha. I don't know at this moment what the rumors are in regards to that. Uh, but I hope we get maybe one more, just because I do dig the designs and style of the mecha. But we are for sure getting one other, sort of other, Megazord, as we are getting a special black edition of Don Oni Taijin that's based with uh, Don Murasame. Um, I've already pre-ordered that. It is a premium one. That's why I said I want to get one more main release, because, you know, this is part of the premium line. But I'm a sucker for the black edition repaints of mecha. I don't have all of them, but I do collect them, and I have a collection of them, so I was excited to add that to my collection, because... It's nice to get those in real time because they can be hard to hunt later on, especially with a couple that I let fall by the wayside, like Time Rangers and Hurricanes, where like I found like some kind of pricey but decentish ones back in the day, and I'm like, I can wait for a better price. That was a dumb idea. They've just gone up in price. So it's nice, even though it's pricey now, it's far less pricey than it's going to be later, so it's nice to be able to buy those in real time. Not to mention, I do like Don Oni Taijin, and I like this repaint of it, so that's rather exciting news. Uh, they also just recently revealed that we are getting another Sentai Memorial Edition weapon. This time, it's the Gokai Saber, which is pretty exciting. I dig the Gokai Saber, I dig Gokai Jir, so I'll pick it up. Plus, Troy told me to never let go of my weapon, so this is a good chance to honor him and his wishes. For those of you upset that I'm mentioning Super Mega Force, do you see any tears? Well, as of this recording, it's just announced we don't have like a picture or anything, but I presume, you know, it'll be almost one-to-one -one scale, you know, probably way more sounds than you need. It'll have the crackhead shrieking voice, all that stuff. I do hope that one of the next memorial editions we get is, well, actually the Gokai gun, so I can get it and accidentally break it almost immediately. Shout out to those of you that remember that old channel reference. But anyway, um, I kind of hope we get the Ryuso Caliber slash the Dino Master Saber, just because, you know, it was recently featured in Dino Fury. And I've always dug the design of that sword, and I'd like to complete the collection of the main Ryu Soldier Dino Fury swords. And it feels very unlikely we're going to get any version in the Dino Fury line. I mean, I guess it could pop up in Cosmic Fury, but I'm not going to hold my breath. But it would be nice to have, like, a prop-feeling one, even if it also has just way too many sounds. 
Anyway, that was it for the news that I clocked um, in regards to just the stuff that's happened recently. Um, but I also, again, in the second part of this video, I want to give an update on my Sentai coverage. I will be continuing to cover Sentai news. I know I've been a little bit bad at it because I've been prioritizing Power Rangers because that's always the priority, which is kind of the point of this update. But I will still be covering Sentai news, you know, when we get new forms, new Six Rangers, new series, like when we get the pictures of O-Ranger or King O-Ranger or whatever it's called in the trailer. Of course, I'll be covering that. Um, news about DVDs. It's Sentai news. I'll still be covering it. Power Rangers will always take the priority. So if like bigger Power Rangers news is happening around the same time, that will get the upload priority. Unless it's something big like the new Sentai reveal, which I would consider that to be the priority. And I will still be covering Sentai merch. I know it's been a little bit um, lackluster, um, but that's for a different reason. I'm, but I'm still going to be covering... Uh, the main releases. I'm primarily going to be covering the main mecha and the main changers. And then, like, as far as the gimmicks go, like, you know, the gears, if I cover those, it'll probably just be like, oh, I'm going to cover the first two. Because after you've reviewed one, you've reviewed them all. So I'll only recover it, or recover it. I'll only cover it when it feels like there's new information. But I still will be covering that main stuff. Um, the reason I am behind a little bit, I have kept up to date with the Sentai mecha. All two of them. The reason I'm a little bit behind on some of the other stuff is actually because, and I'm going to mention this in the, when I record the videos, but with the Gold Ranger shipment, there was a bit of a, a hiccup with the shipping. Um, long story short, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. There was a hiccup with the payment. There was like an error in the payment system from where I bought it from, so it took me like a week to be able to send the payment through. And then it had been so long, I decided, you know what, I'm not going to get these reviews on time anyway. Might as well save some money and do Sal. Man, I haven't done Sal since back in the original RR days. I forgot how long that could take. It did not arrive until like, it was like 45, 50 days, maybe more. I don't remember, because at one point I was like, that might have gotten lost. I should look into this. Like, it arrived around the time my computer was broken. Um, and so I have recorded the review for Gold's Changer, but that's the reason a great chunk of my Don Brother stuff was behind, is in addition to all my reviews being delayed because of the channel, I mean, it's the channel, because of my computer, the box just wasn't here. So... Unless it's something non-important, not doing Sal again. Like, there was times I lucked out with Sal back in the day, where it was like seven or nine days, and I'm like, holy shit, that worked out. So yeah, that's the reason behind that. But in general, I'm going to be to try to be on time as much as possible with Sentai main reviews, like the Mecha and the Changers. Anyway, as far as the show, some of you have asked about my Don Brothers reviews, which went on hiatus because of the computer stuff. And I've decided to make that hiatus semi-permanent. I've decided I'm not going to cover it anymore. Um, honestly, like, I was liking Don Brothers. I really was. But during that time when my computer was down and I was kind of unable to watch it as I was focusing on fixing everything and then what coverage I was focusing on was doing Power Week, I realized that I enjoy not watching Sentai far more than I enjoy watching Sentai. And that was driven home further during this last week when, or last week or whatever when it was, when Cosmic Fury came out, or Cosmic Fury News, but Dino Fury Season 2 came out. I was, like, excited to watch those episodes and talk about them and excited to talk about the new comics. And I just didn't feel that way about the Sentai episodes. Like, I only have to watch one 22-minute episode a week and it always felt like homework. And so I'm going to take an extended hiatus from Sentai. I'm still going to be covering news because I want to check in with the designs and the plot points and the toys and still covering the toys. But I'm not going to be watching it for a hot minute. Um, you know, I've kind of already... Uh, faded away from Ryder, of which also I will only be covering the main news, like, you know, uh, when a new Ryder series comes out. Because after so many years of following it, the grind of Sentai and Ryder is just so repetitive and corporate, I'm just kind of tired of it, and I just have far more of a passion for talking about Power Rangers, and that's where I want to put my priorities, which has always been there, but even more so now. But I don't worry, I still will be covering main Sentai stuff. Like, I'm still going to be covering the toys and the main news, so you'll still get updates on, like, my thoughts of, oh, there's going to be this new Evil Ranger, and what's he going to do? Or, you know, there's a new Sentai, and stuff like that. Of which I'm primarily keeping up with, for Power Rangers' sake, for, like, how would they adapt this if we do it? Or if we ever need to do toy comparisons. But that's where I am right now. I'm not going to put it off the table that I will restart stuff like that in the future, and I still will be covering Sentai, but it's my B priority right now. Um, again, so if you still want to follow the channel, there still will be Sentai coverage on here of main events and toys. It's just, I'm not going to be reviewing the show, or uh, and Power Rangers is going to be the A priority for now. But anyways, guys, that was this update. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you still stick around to the channel if you enjoy it. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you get occasions for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.